Hello guys, today we're making red velvet macarons. These macarons are filled with red velvet cake and cream cheese frosting. If you like macaron recipes, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. And I also have over 80 macaron recipes and flavors on my blog. So make sure to check that out. Enjoy the video. We're gonna start by placing a bowl over a double boiler with barely simmering water. Then add 100 grams of granulated sugar and 100 grams of egg whites to the bowl and whisk until the sugar has dissolved completely. It should take a couple minutes. You can test if the sugar has melted by touching the syrup with your hands and if you don't feel any sugar granules, then the syrup is ready to go. Remove the syrup from the double boiler and begin whipping on low with an electric mixer. Then raise the speed and whip on medium for another couple of minutes. Time whipping and speed will depend on the mixer you're using. You want to increase the speed gradually until it's a medium high speed and whip the egg whites until they reach stiff peaks. The macaronage time will vary depending on how stiff the meringue is and how you're actually folding. So for me it takes about 5 minutes I would say, but it really depends. Here I'm adding a little bit more food coloring because I wanted the color to be a little bit more intense. If you're new to making macarons, I really recommend going easy on the food coloring at first. And once you get a little bit more experienced, you can experiment with um, adding more food coloring as you go. So you know if the batter is ready when you're able to draw a few figure eights with the batter flowing off the spatula without having the batter break up. And even after the batter breaks up, it'll still continue to flow slowly off the spatula. That's when you know that the batter is ready. So now we're going to transfer the batter to a piping bag fitted with a large piping tip. I like to use a, a half an inch diameter piping tip. And we're going to start piping our macarons. You've got to hold the bag at a 90 degree angle right on top of the, the middle of the circle of the template circle. And then you apply gentle pressure for about three seconds and then you'll pull the bag up. Once you're done piping, you're going to slam the tray against the counter to release any air bubbles. And then you're going to use a toothpick to pop any air bubbles that are still on the surface of the macarons. Let the macarons dry for 20 to 40 minutes, depending on how humid the kitchen is. And then gently touch the top of a macaron, and if it feels dry to the touch, they're ready to bake. Bake them at 325 for about 15 minutes. I like to rotate the tray after the first 5 minutes baking so the feet bake evenly. So now we're going to make the red velvet cake for the filling of the macarons. Start by adding a quarter cup of butter, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, and three quarter cup of granulated sugar to a bowl, and then cream at medium high speed until fluffy. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a tablespoon of red food coloring. 
and mix until combined. And now for the dry ingredients, you're gonna need one and a third cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Whisk those ingredients together or sift them and pour a third of the ingredients into the batter. Then pour a third of a cup of buttermilk in and mix. And then pour another third of the dry ingredient mixture and mix to combine. And also remember to scrape the bowl sometimes in between the additions. Add the last of the buttermilk. And then finally add the last of the dry ingredients. And mix until the batter is smooth and incorporated. Then pour the cake batter on a pan greased and lined with parchment paper or buttered and floured. I'm using a jelly roll pan that measures 10 by 15 inches because I want the cake to be thin. You can also bake it on a smaller pan and then the cake will be thicker but then you just slice the cake rounds in half before adding them to the macaron filling. And then we're gonna bake this cake on a preheated oven at 350 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. Let's make the cream cheese frosting. Let's begin by whipping together 3 ounces of cream cheese and 1.5 ounces of butter. Cream on high speed until creamy and fluffy. And then you can add 1 cup of powdered sugar and cream again on high speed until combined. Then finally add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix. Transfer the cream cheese frosting to a piping bag fitted with the tip you choose to use to pipe the filling on the macarons. I'm using a tip that's about three quarters of an inch in diameter. Now use a one inch circle cutter to cut rounds of red velvet cake which will be in the center of the macaron. To assemble the macarons, we will place a cake round in the center of each bottom shell and then pipe a ring of cream cheese frosting around the cake round, making sure the frosting ring is as high as the cake round or the top shell won't stick to form the cookie sandwich. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and this red velvet macarons. Please make sure to check out my other macaron videos and my blog for many tips and many many macaron recipes. Thank you, see you later!